This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Uh, next up, we've got Gold Dust pinning Bam Bam Bigelow in eight minutes and 18 seconds with a bulldog headlock. Meltzer would say Gold Dust ring entrance is supposed to be the heel equivalent of The Undertaker's, but it came off as so long it was boring. These two didn't work well together, although not from a lack of effort. One star. It's Bam Bam's last match with the company. Do you know when he comes through the curtain in the back? That's it. We won't see him again. Or are you guys still hopeful that you'll be able to figure something out? No, I, th- I think at this point we knew, and you know, Scott was, he was done. He was ready to go. So good luck to him. And, and Bam Bam was one of those guys I always had a soft spot for. I, I always liked him, always got along with him and he was a super nice guy, but he was defeated and he was unhappy. So it was time for him to go be happy. Well, he's going to do his best. Um, when you watch this back, were you pleased with the gold dust character at this point? Obviously this is a, a character that's going to evolve a few times. Belser's kind of critical of the entrance. I kind of dug it. It was so different, uh, but you know, you can probably look back here and see, well, we're not quite done evolving yet. It was excellent. I, I thought that the entrance, it was unique. It was different and something that hadn't been done. So. Maybe Meltzer doesn't like innovation. Um, but if he was at the Tokyo Dome, he'd love it. The, the Gold Dust character was, was always evolving, and it was still in its infancies, and we were still trying to feel our way through it. And you know, kudos to Gold Dust for the way that he just kept after it, and he would not accept anything less every single night and busted his ass to make the most out of it. Let's talk about Bam Bam for a minute. You know, when he, when he leaves here, I mean, is there any concern in this era? I mean, you're not too far removed from nitro just to give everybody context. Nitro has been around a few months. The very first show you had a guy up and leave and show up on the other show, Lex Luger. And it was a surprise to everyone. You guys included, was there any concern about Bam Bam doing the same? Or had you already decided he can't hurt us? What does it matter? Or is it more about business? Who cares about theirs? we got to worry about ours. Well, I think that there was definitely an eye on WCW and what they were doing going head to head with Nitro. So there was an eye on it at this time, without a doubt. However, as far as talent being unhappy, you do have to look at a happy locker room and you have to look at what's best for business at the time and put your head down and take care of your business in front of you. So Bam Bam going there, I don't know that that was that much of a concern frankly. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.